Welcome children. Today I am here with a wonderful poem on a bird called Robin. All of us have seen birds and there are many birds around. You have seen the mina, the crow, uh, the peacock, sparrow and of course uh, you see sometimes you can see a woodpecker, uh, you know, pecking at the wood and then of course you can see cranes and herons, isn't it? Now here today's lesson is about a uh, robin. Please open your textbooks on lesson number 7, Robin, page 44. This is an English lesson for third standard. Robin, let us begin. Name the national bird of India, it is the peacock. Now the first stanza, Robin sang sweetly when the days were bright. Thanks, thanks for summer, he sang with all his might. Robin sang sweetly when the days were bright. Thanks, thanks for summer, he sang with all his might. The Robin sang sweetly when the days were bright. Thanks, thanks for summer, he sang with all his might. So you can see the picture of a robin and a robin has, you know, the throat part of it is a bright yellow or you can say bright golden color. And the picture shows the robin's beak is open and it is singing very sweetly. The robin is very happy because it is summer and he can fly around enjoying the warm sunshine and the flowers and the plants and trees around. Second stanza, robin sang sweetly in the autumn days. There are fruits for everyone, let us give praise. Robin sang sweetly in the autumn days. There are fruits for everyone, let us give praise. Robin sang sweetly in the autumn days. There are fruits for everyone. Let us give praise. So in the autumn also, the robin sang very sweetly and he was happy because he says there, there are fruits for everyone and let us all give praise. Third stanza. In the cold and wintry weather, still hear his song. Somebody must sing, said robin, or winter will seem long. In the cold and wintry weather, still hear his song. Somebody must sing, said Robin, or winter will seem long. In the cold and wintry weather, still hear his song. Somebody must sing, said Robin, or winter will seem long. Now the third stanza, the Robin says, It is cold and it is wintry weather, but somebody must sing or winter will seem long. So here Robin says, in order to make the winter short, not short like that, but you will not feel bored or you will not feel so tired and worn out. So to remove the boredom, somebody has to sing. To make us feel that winter is not so very long, it is short. When the spring came back again, he sang, I told you so, Keep on singing to the winter, it will always go. When the spring came back again, he sang, I told you so, keep on singing to the winter, it will always go. When the spring came back again, he sang, I told you so, keep on singing to the winter, it will always go. When the spring came back again, he sang, I told you so, keep on singing to the winter, it will always go. So in the last stanza, Robin says, look, I told you, you must keep on singing. So what happens? The time span of the winter season will become shorter and it will go. It is not actually that, but people will not feel bored or cold or fatigued or tired because of the winter season. Hearing the song of this uh, Robin will energize them and they will feel lively and happy and will not know that this season is such a drab season. And soon, without their knowledge, winter will pass on and the next season will come. So this is the idea behind this poem where the Robin says, we must keep singing so that the boring or the boredom of the present days will be gone. Now with this I come to the end of the poem. I am going to read once more. Please listen to me very carefully. Robin. Robin sang sweetly when the days were bright. Thanks, thanks for summer, he sang with all his might. Robin sang sweetly in the autumn days. There are fruits for everyone, let us give praise. In the cold and wintry weather, 
still hear his song. Somebody must sing, said Robin, or winter will seem long. When the spring came back again, he sang, I told you so. Keep on singing to the winter, it will always go. Robin. Robin sang sweetly when the days were bright. Thanks, thanks for summer, he sang with all his might. Robin sang sweetly in the autumn days. There are fruits for everyone, let us give praise. In the cold and wintry weather, still hear his song. Somebody must sing, said Robin, or winter will seem long. When the spring came back again, he sang, I told you so. Keep on singing through the winter, it will always go. Robin. Robin sang sweetly when the days were bright. Thanks, thanks for summer, he sang with all his might. Robin sang sweetly in the autumn days. There are fruits for everyone. Let us give praise. In the cold and wintry weather, still hear his song. Somebody must sing, said Robin, or winter will seem long. When the spring came back again, he sang, I told you so. Keep on singing to the winter, it will always go. With this, I come to the end of this poem. Your homework will be to read the poem as I have read. Take a voice message and send to the school WhatsApp number. Now let's turn to the activity sheet on page 65. Activity sheet on page 65 that deals with singular and plural. Activity sheet 5, page 65. Singular and plural. You have already learned that nouns can be either singular or plural in number. Pronouns can also be either singular or plural in number. So pronoun is used in place of a noun. Remember, you is used as both singular and plural. So when I address one boy or one girl also I say you. When I enter a class and address the whole class also, I say you. So you is used as a singular and as a plural form. For example, you are a good boy, singular, you are good boys, plural. Now A, write the plural of these pronouns. I, it's we, he, they, it, these or those. You, you, she, they. B. Pick out the pronouns, change them from singular to plural and rewrite these sentences. 1. I went to the library. They went to the library. 2. It is not a ripe apple. The pronoun is it. These or those are not ripe apples. 3. He can swim. Instead of he, you write, they can swim. 4. It is a big table. Instead of it, you can write, these or those are big tables. 5. She runs very slow. Instead of she, you write, they run very slow. They run very slow. 6. One, I want a brown dog. Instead of I, you can write, we want a brown dog. Or you can write, we want brown dogs. Both ways. 7. She will fall down. Instead of she, you can write, they will fall down. 8. One, he can't go there. Instead of he, you can write, they can't go there. So your homework for this task will be to listen to my video and complete the exercise on page 65 in your textbook. Thank you.